Wind power turbines as far as the eye can see, driven by blustery winds. Taquarembó is a poster child for Uruguay's almost complete energy transition. The country now draws 98% of its power from renewable sources, hydroelectric and solar power, and a third from wind turbines. Uruguay's wind conditions are outstanding. Plenty of space was made available for a wind park here, right in the middle of cattle country. It wasn't an easy decision for rancher Pablo Capuro. This is ranch land for cattle breeding. We didn't know if the animals would cope with it or how big the turbines would be. So we were very uncertain about it all. Another worry was the possible effect on operations. These turbines need a lot of space, 70 hectares of it here. Pablo Capuro and other ranchers in the area took advice from engineers. And they traveled to Brazil to have a look at the wind parks there. They were finally convinced. The cattle breeding wasn't affected at any point. After the construction phase was complete, everything was back to normal. It meant about one and a half years to two years where large teams had to work in the paddocks. Uruguay now boasts over 40 wind parks. Every year, the country's state-run energy provider pays a leasing fee as compensation to the ranchers who own the plots where the turbines now stand. Students of the UTEC Technical University take care of installation and maintenance, like Ivan Principi. He was one of the first to get an engineering degree for renewable energies. Not only I don't see myself as a pioneer. I see renewable energy as something new around the world. And so all the people who work in this field, not just the engineers, are pioneers in the field and are working to move the world forward. The energy transition has made it possible for many schools in Uruguay's rural areas to have a stable power supply. That makes the engineers and students here especially proud. After only 10 years, the country now uses clean energy almost exclusively, and in doing so, it helps reduce CO2 pollution and fight the effects of climate change. It also makes Uruguay independent of imports from neighboring countries. Renewable energies are more than just clean. For Uruguay, it's not just the ecological aspect that counts. It's also that the country is using its own renewable resources. Not using them would lead to more environmental pollution. The Renewable Energies course of study focuses on the practical, to keep Uruguay at the cutting edge. Students must stay abreast of the current climate crisis and be able to react to new developments. For Professor Rodrigo Lagreca, who moved here from Spain, it's a refreshing approach. Most of the courses taking place are practical. Assembly of equipment, experiments on modules and new equipment, installation of different components. I missed that in my faculty in Madrid. I want to work practically and make the most of opportunities to apply the methods in other places. Government policy is actively driving Uruguay's ecological energy transition. Uruguay has implemented new laws and supported the transition with funding. The country also works with both private and public companies and NGOs. The International Climate Initiative is also supporting Uruguay's transition to renewables. It's been a long, arduous journey. There were certain obstacles that had to be overcome. The main one is the inexperience of the Uruguayan electricity system in managing a variable energy source such as wind energy. 
Wind power varies every 15 minutes, every minute. It depends on the wind. Therefore, this element introduces uncertainty into a system used to dealing with generation units that are easy to control. That was disruptive for the people who had to manage the system. Nicolas Castroman hopes that Uruguay can become a model for other countries in the region. After all, climate change is a global problem and can't be solved at the local level alone. <coughs> Pablo Capuro's cattle don't seem to mind the wind turbines, and today he sees the advantages too. I feel that making the change and bringing wind energy to this estate has been an accomplishment for the good of the whole country. And that makes me happy. I'm very satisfied. The next step in Uruguay's transition will be converting its transportation system to run completely on clean energy and reduce CO2 emissions even further. That may well make Uruguay's transition to renewables complete.